welcome welcome back again right we are cracking on the next problem right this is a problem on your screen now if i am seeing this as my front view what are the things i can able to see i can able to see this area i can able to see this area as well as i can able to see this area these are the things which i can able to see now along with this i can able to see this as well right these are the things which i need to show it on the drawing sheet now so i'm just moving on to my front view how it looks like so if i draw my front view as this problem is entirely different to the other problems now when you're drawing on the drawing sheet it is very very important that so let me check with small size yeah now if i'm drawing on piece of paper i need to ensure that the lines what i'm drawing must be like this as it is see uh, why i'm drawing on the top here is because it is having an arc right it is not same like earlier problems right see here this area right this area what i'm just highlighting here this is something like an arc this arc will be depicted like a rectangle when you are seeing in the front view. This is very important. Now, when you are drawing on the drawing sheet, so you need to simply draw just like this. Right? You need to draw like this. Now, this part is your that. This part is the one where you can see this chamfer area same like second problem we already explained in the earlier videos that when i'm seeing from the side view what happens is i can able to see this area as well as in the front view so both the views i can able to see this so that is the reason this will be looking like a rectangle in my front view as well as in my side view, right so let's see this small rectangle right in other words i can say Right, if I just project the extreme ends right like this towards the end, like this, and if I project these ends as well, in other words, we call this as projection of planes. Right now, if I just converge all this together, whatever the projections I did now, if I just converge all, you can see that there is another square coming on the other end. Now, we are not going in deep of that, but in your front view you can easily see that there is a small square as well as you can see this l shape along with this you can see that small arch one and apart from this you already go know that this triangle will be looking as it is now finally i'm just showing my front view you can be you can be victimized like this okay next let's move to the top view so this is how my top view will be looking up. So well, how the top view will be looking? This is very interesting part. Now, this area and this area combinedly looking like a rectangle. That is one. So you won't be having any dotted, I mean, line here as it is a complete one because in this particular software, when I'm doing this arc one, right? We, we call this as a fillet radius when i'm doing that it will be individually happening up but it is a complete area no need to have this slot here as well as layer one right here also there is no need to have a slot right straight away you can try it now when i'm seeing from the top i can see this as a rectangle right and also i can able to see the same shape what i can able to see and one more important thing is your slant rectangle this you can see as a straight rectangle right in other words i can say a complete rectangular surface here and no need to draw this line so that is the reason i highlighted that in the red so you'll be having same as the shape what i shown few minutes back now finally you move to your side view now i'm just showing up the side view so your side view will be looking exactly like this so what the side view how it forms right now I can able to see this champ i mean uh, we call this as chamfer and this as a chamfer right these two chamfers when you are looking what happens is they looks like a small rectangle i mean 
square boxes and along with that you can see the middle part which you are having a square so all three you will be having like a rectangle with the three slots like this so this is how your side view will be and along with that you see this rectangular box i mean this landage you will be seeing like a rectangle like this and along with that the border area that means this, this arc right that as it is you will be drawing like this so this is how your side view will be looking right this is not easy i'm saying uh, it won't be as easy as the layer problems you need to be j just focus for this right this is how you will be seeing up when you are writing on the sheet this is the same i shown here so you'll be looking i mean drawing the same diagram like this if you do that the problem is done so most of the people uh, time the people do this arc with the freehand sketch which is not good so they already given the radius as a 21 in the textbook so you need to take this distance right so an example if i want to draw this arc first i will uh, find out the exact line like this so wherever this line ends this is how this and the center point like this so assume i mean i didn't draw straight because you already know that i'm using mouse right so assume that this is the center point so from this point measure the radius whatever they given and just make an arc like this so then your diagram will be looking perfect instead most of the time i've been observing that the people drawing with a free hand sketch which is not good and not acceptable at all Right, that's all for today guys and thank you all please don't forget to subscribe right and uh, we'll be looking forward to upload more and more along with entertainment and other videos as well right if you are in need of any videos or any topic it doesn't matter whatever the subject is i will try to upload all the videos related to the topics thank you very much once again all thank you goodbye for today